Hello, welcome to the Spotlight Show. I am your host. My name is Jigbez Napoleon Ogbole. I'm very happy to have you with me today. And um, today is going to be a very interesting show because we have so much information to provide to you that's very beneficial. And remember, we're coming to you live from the GBKM network right here in Toronto in the province of Ontario, Canada. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching us from. It's, I'm very glad to have you with me today, and thank you so much. So remember, you, we are live right now on all our social media channels. Please uh, tell your friends, your family, uh, share this particular uh, program. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at GBKM TV. Thank you so much. And of course, uh, this show is put together with the support of uh, you know our our sponsors and I want to do a quick shout out to those companies that make this show possible first of all quick shout out and thanks to African Young Entrepreneurs uh, African Young Entrepreneurs is a non-for-profit organization based out of Johannesburg in South Africa they are in over 19 countries uh, it's a network of entrepreneurs they have over over 10 million entrepreneurs. So please go to their website. It's on www.ayeonline.org. And of course, to our other supporter, Imani's Place. Imani's Place is a charitable organization and it provides shelter. Shelter to whom? For women between the ages of 15 to 35 who are suffering from homelessness, uh, sex trafficking, and domestic violence. I have been to the, uh, uh, to the location. It's a wonderful place. Please go to their website. Show them some love and support. Uh, their website is www.imanisplace, I-M-A-N-I-S, place, P-L-A-C dot O-R-O-G. And obviously to our fans and supporters, uh, the Pan-African Arts Cultural and Trade Institute, it's based out of Toronto, Canada. It's a wonderful organization. Uh, what do they do? They are promoters of African culture and heritage. And they also provide uh, training and support. And on, not only that, they do education and exhibition. So go to their website to get more information about this organization. It's www.pacaati.org. Uh, so it's Pakati. Dot o -R -G. So thank you so much uh, for taking your time from your busy schedule, wherever you may be watching us from, to join us today. Okay, Today's episode is interesting. And why? Because I like it. It's about wealth creation. Okay, So we need to be able to have multiple streams of income, you and I. And that is why this show today is focusing on that. Why? Because we have a common enemy across the globe. And you guessed right, COVID-19. COVID-19 has, you know, been able to put a lot of people at home and out of work. Businesses are closing. Why? Because of the lockdown and the restrictions. And we need to bring the economy, wherever you are, whatever country, whatever part of the world you are, whatever career or business you may be engaged in, we have so much information today to pass across on how we can recover from this lockdown and be able to get our lives back and be able to make impact, you know, not only to ourselves and family, but the community where we live in. So thank you so much. And like I said, the Spotlight Show is for me and you. What is this show about? It's about looking at the information out there. We do the heavy lifting for you. We go out there, get the information that benefits you and I, you know, and then what we do is be able to provide those data those insights so that way you have varied options whereby you can be able to make informed decisions so please if you're just joining us and uh, thank you very much and do not forget to tell your friends and family and um, we'll be going straight to discuss more about what we have today like I always tell people do you have an idea you know do you have um, a business opportunity you know do you want to change your career do you want to go into a new field? Of course, this is the show for you. And uh, why not? I'm going to talk a lot more about entrepreneurship today. Okay, so that way, how you can get into um, into a business and how you can take that idea, you know, from conceiving the idea to actually being able to fulfill and bring the idea to life, you know, up to the point where you have a product or you begin to provide a service. All right. So please remember uh, this COVID-19 
has uh, been able to give us time to set, uh, sit back and review you know, some of the um, activities in our life and uh, be able to make better decisions. Uh, not only that, uh, across the world, people have been facing uh, so many challenges. You know, I was doing the research recently and I found out here in North America, do you know that farmers were seriously impacted? How so? Because farmers have goods and those goods need to go to people that need it, like restaurants and grocery shops. Uh, but with the lockdown, with the restrictions, they have so many challenges. Okay, so these were gaps, you know, that some people noticed and took advantage of. Uh, the one that is very, very close to my heart was obviously our dairy farmers. Dairy farmers had so much milk, but like I said, offices were closed down. A lot of people were staying at home. Uh, so the consumption of um, uh, products, you know, made from milk was a very was was reduced. However, <laughs> the cows need to make the milk. The milk must come out, and the, and the milk needs to be consumed, you know, and they had a lot of problems with this. And I'm going to be able to tell you, you know, some wonderful disruptions that happen in, the, in those space, in the agricultural space, in the tech space, health, education across the world, and how people like you and me saw this gap and took advantage of it to be able to create wealth. So please stay tuned as we go further into this discussion. We're going to be going on a quick break right now. And please stay tuned because when we come back, I'm going to talk about, you know, how you can start, start that business you'll be thinking about, what type of grants are available to you for those audience in Canada, and what is available outside of the country as well. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll be right back as we go on this short break. Do you believe you could host an entertaining, engaging, and thoughtful weekly show? Or are you a business person or entrepreneur interested in building a brand for yourself? Can you connect with an audience and have strong social media skills? If so, the GBCAM Network would love to invite you to join our team. We're looking for driven, genuine folks who are willing to work hard as an independent broadcaster. If this sounds like you, come join our team. For more information, email your resume to career at gbkm.fm. That is career, C-A-R-E-E-R, -E -E at gbkm.fm. It's time to turn your passion into a career. Do you Welcome back. And if you're just joining us, uh, remember we are live right now and you can um, tell your family, your friends, your loved ones out there about this program. We are actually live on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Please go to our, our website. It's www. Uh, gpkm.fm. Uh, do not forget we have other programs and uh, you can see our schedule there and uh, please um, you know share go to our social media handles subscribe share turn on notifications uh, so that when uh, you know very wonderful information from different programs on our network is available you can go in there and be able to you know participate and do not forget this show is for me and you why because you can also participate please send in your questions on the, to our email spotlight at gpkm.fm or you can you know send me comments on our social media uh, channel um, facebook and uh, youtube and it's at gpkm tv so please uh, send in those feedbacks and let's take a look at your questions and if those we can address we'll be able to address it on this show otherwise i'll be able to respond back to you via email and please reach out to me uh, my social media handle on um, instagram and twitter is at J Base, my first name, J A Y G B E S. All right, so thank you so much uh, for joining us. And like I said before, we're going to be taking a look at some of those uh, uh, business opportunities out there. Uh, let's talk about some of those. Uh, remember, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do this alone. Okay, there are grants out there that you can assess. Okay, uh, I know sometimes we want to start up a business and we look into friends and family for initial capital. Of course, that is good. But as you begin to expand, uh, you don't need to bear the body on, us, on yourself. We live in a wonderful country, uh, Canada, whereby the government has so much support. And there are so many uh, websites that we give out today to tell you where you can get additional information, regardless of the industry you are in, uh, be it whatever business you may be as well. Okay, like I said before, uh, the COVID-19 brought up a lot of opportunities that people across the world are taking um, uh, advantage of and being able to create wealth for themselves. And one of those, like I said before, was uh, the issue with our farmers, how they're not able to get their produce um, to retailers and grocery stores. Uh, but of course, you know, there was a company, uh, Forager. Forager is based out of the United States. Uh, what did they do? 
uh, to help keep the farm afloat, uh, they develop a digital procurement and payment platform, okay, to simplify the sourcing process for wholesale buyers and look at food suppliers. It's a business to business platform. Look at that match uh, making the farmers to those that need those goods. That's awesome. Okay, who would have thought of that, even not for COVID-19? You know, so please, whatever opportunity or situation we find ourselves, always remember, you know, we can take advantage of that and be able to turn it into a positive outcome. Uh, another startup that I would like to mention as well uh, that caught my attention this week uh, was uh, the big wheelbarrow and codify. Uh, they provide farmers access to digitize food supply network and allow them to track demand cycles in real time wonderful wonderful so wherever you may be uh, if you're in the continent of africa if you're in europe uh, if you're in canada with us wherever you may be watching us from uh, right now be it at your home offices or your mobile devices and uh, outdoor uh, please this is the time for us to look at ways we can be able to impart our community and benefit our families, be able to create more jobs, okay? Remember, the world is changing very fast. You know, things that were normal uh, uh, last year <laughs> may not be normal this year or, or in the nearest future. So we need to, be able to take advantage. And um, I'm gonna share a World Bank report because I want to encourage me and you uh, to go into uh, business. You know, we should be entrepreneurs. We should be solving problems out there. You see on, on the screen, there's a World Bank report that came out recently. Wonderful report. What is it about? It's a map, and thanks to uh, uh, Visual Capitalist, that's a website that does infographics and take meaningful data and put it into graphics that easily, uh, uh, you can easily understand. And what this particular, uh, map shows us is the top 20 countries that is easy to do business wonderful so what bank put together this report and the top countries i'll list them out there um, you may not be able to uh, to see clearly but the first country based on ease of doing business from the world bank report 2020 is new zealand wow interesting new zealand i want to see all of the other countries there uh, we have hong kong as number three singapore is number two and uh, our neighbor, United States of America, you can see there on the map, United States of America is actually number six. Wonderful. Uh, followed by Georgia, United, uh, UK is number eight, and uh, Sweden is number nine. That is quite an interesting uh, 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 observation. And how did World Bank come up with this uh, particular report? What were, the, what were the, um, the, data, the data points they look at? Okay, some of the data points they look at, uh, before I share how our uh, African Caribbean countries fare on this report, uh, remember you can access this report on the, the World Bank website, it's easily av available, uh, just go to Google and search for it and you'll see the World Bank Ease of Doing Business Report 2020. And what are some of those things that they took into consideration to come up with these countries as uh, the top 190 countries that, that, that's easy to do business. And I'll share that with you. Uh, number one was uh, opening a business. How easy it is to open a business. Wow, that's interesting. Because if New Zealand is number one, it means that for all our Africans in the diaspora, and those based in uh, New Zealand, please, it means it's very easy to open business out there and the, and the government is supporting a lot. Uh, another thing was employing workers. You need, uh, you need good workforce. Uh, it seems New Zealand has that. Uh, it's quite interesting that I thought America would lead uh, <laughs> or China <laughs> based on the, the population. But it's not always like that because why? You know, there are government restrictions, uh, infrastructure. There are different things that the World Bank takes a look into. Uh, and uh, other things they look at is, you know, uh, permits, electricity, the ability to register your intellectual property. And one thing that is important as well is uh, uh, credit. Uh, most African nations and uh, the Caribbeans as well, uh, credit scoring is something that's coming up now. Uh, many countries in the continent of Africa, they are being able to see that gap and take advantage and be able to provide solutions, you know, uh, to solve the issue of, uh, of, of credit, credit scoring. Uh, other factors are paying taxes, um, contracting with the government, enforcing contract laws, etc. And uh, why this is interesting to me, because wherever you may be, if I'm talking about business and your country is forced into this list, you know, it's an opportunity. It's an enabling factor, a motivation for you to say, oh, 
If World Bank is able to do this report and say, oh, these countries is very easy to do business, I see no reason why me and you shouldn't take advantage if we are located in those countries and be able to set up and look and be able to disrupt some industries so that we can be uh, uh, leaders in those particular industries. Please join the bad wagon. You don't want to be a passenger. You don't want to be an onlooker. This is the time for you to take your destiny in the hands. So let's go to the other countries in this report. It's very interesting. Other countries, I'm going to focus on black nations now. Uh, number 38, the first black uh, uh, country uh, is Rwanda. Rwanda is number 38 on this particular list. Uh, other countries on this list is Morocco, number 53. Uh, Kenya is number 56. India is number 63. And obviously the first Caribbean country is Jamaica. Wow, Jamaica is 71 on the list. So these are the top 100. I'm taking a look at the top 100 and focusing on uh, uh, Caribbean countries and African countries. Jamaica is 71. Qatar is 77 from the Middle East. Tunisia, a North African country, is actually 78. And of course, South Africa. South Africa is easy to do business. Uh, they are ranked uh, lower than the Rwanda and Morocco and Kenya, and they are number 84, followed by Zambia 85, followed by Botswana. Botswana is 87, St. Lucia is 93, and of course, Togo. Togo is 97 on the top 100 list of countries of for doing business, that has ease of doing business, based on some of those factors I listed. And uh, obviously, when I took a, li a look at the, the, the least country on this particular report for doing business, uh, the least country at number 190, they have 190 countries on this report, and the bottom of that is actually Somalia. So to our Somalia brothers and sisters out there, uh, you are on the report, because there are, several, there are more than 190 countries in this world, and if you are number 190 on this report, that's good. So you see that uh, we have uh, lots of Caribbean and African countries there, so you have no excuse. Uh, take advantage of this. Okay, so we're going to go into some of the other uh, uh, grants that is available right now. And uh, one thing I want to be able to discuss is uh, let's start with uh, where we are broadcasting from. Remember, we are broadcasting to you live from the GBKM uh, network. Our studio is based here in Toronto, and I'd like to share something with you. Our premier, Doug Ford, you know, was able to, uh, you know, take advantage of this situation and say Ontario is open for business, okay, and he was able to uh, bring up a program. So actually, there was a fund created in April. Uh, it's called the Ontario Together Fund, okay. Out of that, uh, the government is taking half a million, okay, to fund made in Ontario. What does that mean? In case you haven't heard uh, this before, uh, that's the picture of our, of our uh, uh, Premier Doug Ford. That is the new logo of the fund, uh, Ontario, uh, made in Ontario. So we're trying to promote our businesses here in Ontario. We need to support them. Okay? Today, we are supporting local businesses. Tomorrow, your business may be the one that needs support. Okay, so do unto others what you want them to do to you. Uh, that is what we are being taught. Um, let me give you more information about the grant. It's developed, uh, it was launched in April, the Ontario Together Fund, developed by the Canadian manufacturers and exporters. Uh, the province says that the organization will meet with major Ontario retailers to promote the program in their store, as well as increasing visibility for customers, okay? So this is good. We need to make sure the economy starts to run again. Um, this, we don't want businesses to close. We don't want people losing jobs. We don't want the economy to go into recession. No, that's not what we want. Uh, we want to be able to fend for ourselves. And um, additionally, the launch of the program will include a new uh, online portal, which will connect consumers and supply chain partners to manufacturers of products made within the province. Look at that, innovative, okay? So wherever you may be in the world, you can go to this portal and look, is there any particular product that you want, okay? And if it's based in Ontario, why not? Reach out to those companies, you know, and take advantage of this particular opportunity. So the website is actually www.supportontariomade.ca. 
Remember, supportontoriomade.ca. And there's so many additional information because the government over here in Canada has been doing an amazing job, both at the federal level and at the state level in the province here in Ontario and other provinces across the country. Uh, please go to uh, covid19.ontario.ca. There's so much informa information on those sites. It gives information about supplying product. You want to supply the government? You want to supply product? Go to that portal and find out what do they need. Okay, uh, you have a, you want to solve a problem? There are a list of problems there. Take advantage. Okay, like I said, it's high time we begin to develop. We people of black, you understand, including myself, develop multiple streams of income. I want us to begin to do that. I want us to begin to create wealth. I want us to begin to pass business onto generations. Okay, um, the era of one job, you do a job or uh, uh, for the period of your, your working life, and you retire is over. Okay, it's because there's so many layoffs right now, uh, you need to take uh, charge of your destiny. And, and, uh, and obviously, if you have an idea, you can submit it to the government of Ontario. You know, these are very wonderful initiatives. And, uh, and uh, we're going to go into additional grants that's available. So let's go to the federal grants. Uh, what does Canada as a whole have? For my viewers watching, uh, remember, uh, if you're just joining us, this is the Spotlight Show. I'm your host, Jigbez Napoleon Ogbali. Uh, uh, you're watching us live right now on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at GBKMTV. So, yes, Canada. Canada, one of the greatest countries in the world. Uh, the government has been doing an exceptional job. They have so much grants that is available right now. And the one I want to share with you is the one that is trending right now for black people. Okay, so you need to take advantage. What is it called? It's called the Employment and Social Development Canada Funding. Okay, uh, so if you know anyone or you yourself, you can apply for funding for what? For projects to improve black-led organization. Did you hear me? Black-led organization, workplace and community spaces. Wow, I'll give you more information. Okay, uh, you can go to the government website, uh, the government of Canada, Canada website is www.canada.ca. When you get there, you search for Employment and Social Development Canada and go to the funding page. Okay, you see uh, more information about this grant. It's 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 amazing. You know, God bless Canada. Uh, the grant support Black Canadian communities. Okay, uh, it provides capital assistance to Black organizations for capacity building. What does that mean? You know, to be able to fulfill their missions and their aims to serve black communities in Canada. Uh, also, not-for-profit organizations can participate as long as they are black-led. So if you know anybody out there, any not-for-profit that's black-led, this is the time. This is wonderful. Go there. You can apply up to what? 100,000 Canadian dollars. And you can use that to purchase uh, uh, equipment purchases for work or community space or renovations, retrofit of existing workspaces or community spaces to improve your functionality. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Okay, government is supporting because why? They want you to participate in the uh, economic development of this country so you can benefit yourself as well, your, your family and your community. So please take advantage of that. Um, and this is very, very important as well. Uh, for black people in North America, there is another very wonderful opportunity that the government provided and is funding for students, students who volunteer. Okay, very soon, we're in summer right now, very soon most of the schools uh, are doing online learning right now. I went back to school myself, so I'm actually doing some studies right now. And we're going to go on summer break very soon. And uh, opportunity to volunteer. You know any student out there? Uh, the name of the grant is actually called New Canada Student Service Grant, uh, CSSG. It pro provides uh, qualified post-secondary students, so those who have... Uh, 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 completed a secondary schools, uh, recent graduates. So you know somebody who has completed a degree, uh, a graduate, uh, why not? Tell them to go to the website. Uh, you can get more information. Uh, actually, go to www.iwanttohelp.org. www.iwanttohelp.org. So much information out there. Wow, this is so good. And obviously, today is all about grant that is available to black people. And please, uh, ROBC has a grant for black people as well. ROBC recently released a statement. Uh, they, they acknowledge systemic racism in Canada. And they uh, want to participate to solve some of this problem. And what have they done? Okay, so they have a grant right now uh, for uh, uh, black people in North America. It's actually called the ROBC Grant for Black, Indigenous, and People of Color 
B I P O C. So please go to the ROPC website. Uh, you'll be able to get more information of that. Take advantage of that. Everyone watching me, wherever you may be. And obviously, we most of us are aware of Facebook. Facebook was in the news recently where companies were boycotting their services and stop uh, uh, adverts on those platforms. And Facebook obviously acknowledges that. And uh, during this COVID 19 period, they want to also play their part. So go to uh, Facebook. They have uh, a lot of resources right now for business. Uh, you can go to their website. And uh, I want to talk to our students. So please, if you are a parent out there, uh, if you are a student out there, or you know anyone's a student, your friends, or family members, let them know about this wonderful organization for blacks. It's called the Black Business Professional Association. Wonderful organization. I've met some of the individuals there as doing an amazing job, and I want to thank them for that. So you go to www. Uh, BP, so I repeat, www.bppa, B, B, P, A. So B for black, B for black, P for people, A for apple, dot O R O G. Uh, please, the grant has been open, the scholarship has been open for a while right now. It actually ends this week. So go to that site, take advantage of that, and please do your research. There are so many wonderful opportunities out there. Okay, so uh, we're going to go on a quick break, and before we, uh, when we come back, we're going to be looking at how you can assess some of these grants. Some of you may be saying, oh, so many grants, I don't even know how to start. There is a service for that. So please stay tuned. We'll be right back to tell you how you can assess some of these grants. If you could host an entertaining, engaging, and thoughtful weekly show, or are you a business person or entrepreneur interested in building a brand for yourself? Can you connect with an audience and have strong social media skills? If so, the GBCAM Network would love to invite you to join our team. We're looking for driven, genuine folks who are willing to work hard as an independent broadcaster. If this sounds like you, come join our team. For more information, email your resume to career at gbkm.fm. That is career, C-A-R-E-E-R, -E -E at gbkm.fm. KM FM. It's time to turn your passion into a career. Do you believe? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are watching us live right now. Uh, we are coming to you. We are broadcasting live from uh, GBKM studio uh, right here in Toronto, Canada. Uh, thank you so much for uh, being with us uh, thus far. And if you're just joining us, welcome. And please uh, tell your friends and family members and uh, about this program. It's very insightful. It gives you a lot of information out there. Uh, uh, we like you to relax, uh, sit back, and you know digest this information. Today has been a whole lot of information. I know I've been pushing a lot of information at you. But the good thing is that though we are live right now on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at GBKM TV, remember, after this uh, uh, show, uh, we are just live for 30 minutes. The show is available on YouTube. You can go back and watch the recording, and you can be able to take notes uh, be able to know some of these sites that are listed today and uh, please go in there. Like I said, have any questions, send us an email at spotlight at gbkm.fm or send us comment on our social media handle, uh, our social media handles on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. So thank you very much for joining us and like I said, I gave you so much grants but I want to be able to tell you how to assess those grants. Like I said, reach out to me uh, directly on the, so my social media uh, handle is uh, on Instagram and Twitter at JBS, J A Y G B E S. Or send me an email, spotlight at jbkm.fm. I'm going to show you a quick video right now. This is a wonderful company that actually helps you apply for grant. There are so many grants I didn't list today on this show, but there's so much grant on this particular uh, site. So I'm going to show you this video. Sit back, relax, and watch. Doesn't, Doesn't it seem, it seem like, like there's like never, never enough, enough funding, funding to support your charity's work? work? And that you and waste, waste a lot, lot of time of searching through dead ends? That's why thousands of Canadian charities and nonprofits already rely on Grant Connect. Grant Connect makes it easier and faster for charities across the country to find new prospects and win grants. With Grant Connect, you can search thousands of funding opportunities. Grant Connect gives you the best leads so that you can focus on what you do best, submitting the perfect application. It connects you with the right funding so you can position your ask for success. And whether on the go to a donor meeting or a last minute call with your team, Grant Connect's mobile capability allows you to make the most of your time. Grant Connect, built by Imagine Canada to make fundraising more efficient. Sign up for a free tour today. Welcome back. How do you 
take that information. Very resourceful. I came across that and I had to share it with you. Why? Well, information is power and that is what this show is about. Giving you those information to empower you to make the right decision about your career, about your business and every other topic of interest that affects me and you, uh, Africans in, uh, back home in the continent and those in the diaspora. And uh, yes, this week that just passed, Tuesday, can you remember what Tuesday is? Tuesday was what? Uh, Tuesday, July the 7th has been designated as this blackout day. Did you participate? Of course I did. What does it mean, blackout? It's a, it's a day, you know, uh, it's actually organized by uh, the, this wonderful organization. Check them out. The website is www.blackoutday.org. Okay? It's very important. Uh, it's a call to action and a day of solidarity in America and abroad, um, where black persons in North America spends a do does not spend a dollar outside of black businesses. Okay? You want to go to grocery? There are local businesses owned by black that you can support, okay? So what are we trying to do? We're not trying to create division, no. We're trying to empower, okay, our brothers and sisters, home and abroad, who have businesses. We need to support them. Today we're talking about other people's business. What about you tomorrow? You have a business, you are providing a service, or you're selling a good. Wouldn't you want patronage? So please, like I said, we people of color are a major economic force and political force, home and abroad. Okay, we spend good dollars. We make good dollars. Okay, so please support those local businesses. Like I said, uh, it's a call to action. Uh, we just on Tuesday, July the seventh was a blackout day, so we continue to uh, support all black businesses. Yes, like I said, please check them out. Uh, Blackoutday.org. Uh, Very wonderful initiative. I like that. I like that. Okay, and we'll continue to support our black businesses wherever you may be in your home country, in Europe, in America, Middle East or Asia, please support those businesses. Today we are supporting them, tomorrow they'll be supporting us. It's very important. So yes, as like I said, the show is 30 minutes long, uh, very resourceful and impactful. As we come to the conclusion of the show, I want to also share with you some very good information. You want to know what black businesses are out there? Oh, I shared some with you already, uh, like my sponsor, uh, they are black-led. Remember, they are our uh, young African entrepreneur. It's black-led, based out of Johannesburg. They are all over the world, even in Canada. Yeah, uh, Imani's place too is black-led. It's a shelter for women. You know, uh, trying to prevent homelessness. Those who have been victims of uh, sexual trafficking or domestic violence. Okay. In addition to that, there is a website. Oh my God, it's the largest marketplace for black-owned business. Did you know that? Oh, it's quite interesting. I checked this out. I was very wonderful. Please support black businesses. Go to www.webuyblack.com. Very important. Webuyblack.com. Okay? There's so many goods and services out there rendered by uh, black-owned businesses. Try and support them. In addition to that, have you heard of the Black Knot? The Black Knot. So we in North America, the Black Knot is an organization, okay, that's created... For me and you, because this systemic racism just have to stop. Come on, come on, it just has to stop. They have a summit this week. I have registered. Go ahead and register. It's, uh, the black note is quite interesting. When I read about it, I was, I was, I was really, really impressed. And uh, thanks to Wes Hall, uh, who is the founder of that. Uh, they are committed to the removal of anti-black systemic barriers negatively affecting the lives of black Canadians. Okay? We do not. So please... Go there for those of my viewers who are based in Canada. If you have family years as well, call them, tell them about this wonderful uh, site and initiative. And please check out the Afro Caribbean Business Network Foundation. It's actually uh, you know led by a young black uh, individual, a lovely gentleman. Uh, go to www.acbncanada.com. What do they do? They connect, build, and grow helping to increase your business capacity by connecting you to expert resources and opportunity. Who wouldn't want that? So you are struggling right now. You have an idea, you are, or you're already working on an idea and you're struggling. Reach out to them. Okay? There's power in numbers. Don't carry the burden alone, please. And um, please also, like I said, the scholarship uh, for black students, uh, the organization, uh, the Black Business Professional Association. Please, uh, they are called BPPA. Okay, it's the premier black business network. And obviously, we have the CAMSC. It's called the Canadian Aboriginal and Minority Supply Council. Wonderful firms and people doing great things. What do they do? They certify Aboriginal and minority-owned suppliers 
in incredible wide range of products and services. You, can't, you never can tell you know, any of these services you can benefit from. Okay? So last week we talked about career. This week we talked about business, empowering you and me to be able to go out there and put to birth those business ideas, to go out there and have additional information for our existing businesses to grow to the next level. Okay? Like I always tell people, don't get stuck on one stream of income. Paycheck to paycheck is not the best way to live. Have multiple streams of income. Okay? I have been so informed by this particular topic today. I hope you have been informed as well. It's been an amazing time uh, spent with you. And if you just join us, remember, you can go back to our YouTube channel at GBKMTV to watch the recording. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share to your friends and family, even the naysayers. Even the naysayers, saying to them, even the haters, let them know, okay? Let's empower, you know, people of African descent, home and abroad. And I want to uh, give thanks to my network and my producer, Mr. Kenny Baz. He's an amazing gentleman. The network uh, has been very, very wonderful. So please check out our website, www.gbkm.fm. I want to say thank you for uh, staying with me to watch this show. Next week, same time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please check the time zone, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That time we are here from 6 to 6 30. It's a 30 minute show, uh, imparting your life, giving you information to be able to make informed decisions. The show is for me and you, you know, interest and topics that affect us. Okay, so we need to control our own narrative. Remember, you know, uh, you are in the spotlight, and the change you seek begins with you. Good night. You could host an entertaining, engaging, and thoughtful weekly show. Or are you a business person or entrepreneur interested in building a brand for yourself? Can you connect with an audience and have strong social media skills? If so, the GBCAM Network would love to invite you to join our team. We're looking for driven, genuine folks who are willing to work hard as an independent broadcaster. If this sounds like you, come join our team. For more information, email your resume to career at gbkm.fm. That is career, C-A-R-E-E-R, -E -E at gbkm.fm. FM. It's time to turn your passion into a career. Do you believe you could host an entertaining, engaging, and thoughtful weekly show? Or are you a business person or entrepreneur interested in building a brand for yourself? Can you connect with an audience and have strong social media skills? If so, the